Welcome back Web3 TV. I'm Cristina Nájera and today we are at the Cardano Summit with Vladimir from Cointelegraph. How are you doing today? Hey everyone, a pleasure meeting you. Uh, all good, thanks. Enjoying the summit so far? Yes, I'm very happy to have you. Likewise. Would you like to start sharing more about you and what you do? Sure, so I'm the head of research at Cointelegraph. Uh, basically educating our audience and uh, providing more in-depth analytics about the market. Wow, very impressive. What are the latest insights on the market? I mean, uh, Cardano's ecosystem is definitely evolving, uh, which is really great. Uh, good to see lots of new projects and ecosystem booming, you know, as, as the updates coming along. Yes, you are one of the sources of information for the market. How did you start your journey in Web3? Uh, I actually joined Cointelegraph straight away from uh, the biotech industry, quite unexpectedly. Um, so yeah, here I am a couple of years since then. Wow, very interesting transition. <laughs> quite a bit, yeah. How can you explain Web3 to somebody who has zero idea about it? I mean, Web3 is essentially an infrastructure an infrastructure to make lots of progress processes over the world more efficient. Um, but um, yeah, that's, that's kind of the idea, I would say. Wow, very interesting. Can Web3 provide more freedom? Uh, definitely, definitely, to an extent. But our main goal right now, I guess, as the Web3 community in general, um, is to essentially be able to create the products which actually work and utilize the technology uh, in an efficient way, in an useful way. Wow. You have a very big uh, account on X. How did you build your community? I mean, that's probably a better question to our SMM team as opposed to me. Uh, but Cointelegraph was there since the very inception. Um, and, you know, we are honored to be an important play in the industry so far in providing uh, the community with new insights on a regular basis. Wow. And you are visiting Dubai. I'm visiting Dubai. Yeah. What's the difference between Dubai and France, where you are based? I would say the vibrant community and a constant desire to build thin and to communicate and create great products over here. Wow. Uh, Vladimir, can Web3 bring more freedom? Definitely. Definitely, yes. And it's great that Dubai is actually doing a lot to facilitate that freedom. Yes, 100%. It was a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for thank coming. You. Likewise. And thank you for watching. Remember to share this with your friends because everybody deserves to know more about Web3, AI, cryptocurrency, and blockchain. I'm Cristina Najera. See you next time. Thank you.